oh, look at this bad boy. I'm still in love with it. If you remember a few months ago, I spray painted this bike. Now it didn't look anything like this when I first started. So let's have a little recap on how I did this. After painting it, I had a lot of requests from you guys to build this bike up and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Now I might surprise you, but I've never actually built up a bike before. So this is going to be my very first bike build. I can't wait to start building this bike up. Now this was my first ever track bike. It was second hand from a friend, had my first ever crash on this bike that you can probably see the dent on the other side. Now it's probably never going to touch a velodrome again. I want this to be more of a commuting bike and a bike that I can screw around town on. And I want it to be a relatively cheap build. So I want to use as many second hand components as I can and just things we have laying around here in GCN HQ. So I've managed to rustle up a few bits and bobs from various different places. I've got um, an old crank set that I had on an old track bike. I've got a brake. I've got the original seat clamp and the original headset. Also got these very snazzy bars that I found laying around in GCN HQ and I thought they would go perfectly on my bike. Got some red detail and the GCN logo, so I'll just fit perfectly. Got some bar tape to go with that. Got a Stella Italia saddle some tires from Pirelli, which very lucky they are partners and they do red tires, which are going to match perfectly with the stem, inner tubes and some wheels that we used for a different project that we had laying around. So I thought I'd use them too. So first up, I'm going to put the headset and the handlebars on because obviously there's nothing holding these on at the minute. But first up, I need to take all this tape off that we had on from when we spray painted it to protect it. I've got my snazzy handlebars and stem on. Next up, I'm going to fit the bottom bracket. I've just greased it and then fit the cranks. the cranks are on next up I'm going to put the saddle and the seat post on and I know what you're thinking this is not the prettiest looking seat post and in hindsight I really did wish I painted it as well I don't know why I didn't to be honest but I do still have some paint left so I think in the future I will get the paint out and spray it again just to make it look Now it's time to put the brake on and my dad actually gave me this brake. He just had it lying around in the garage and said I could use it. So thank you very much. Um, I would probably prefer a front brake, but the bike hasn't actually got a mount for a front brake. So a back brake is going to have to do. Next up, the Pirelli P0s on the wheels. So now I'm going to put my sprocket onto my rear wheel. I've already got my chain ring on and that's a 52 tooth chain ring. And I'm going to put a 15 sprocket on the back and that's going to give me a gear of 93. And the great thing about fixies and track bikes is that you can just change the gear really easily. So if I do end up going on hill, I can always change it. 
So I've popped the wheel in and as you've probably noticed the dropouts are slightly different on this bike compared to your traditional road bike. These are horizontal dropouts that you'd have on track bikes and they're like that because you need to set the chain tension through the dropouts whereas on a traditional road bike you'll have a derailleur. So I'm going to pop the chain on and then set the chain tension because I'm very picky when it comes to the chain tension. So it's all that's left to do now is pop the brake cable outer into the brake, link it up, get the front wheel in, pop some bar tape on, and we're done. there we have it my diy spray painted bike back up and running and on the road i'm gonna ride this pretty much everywhere i can because i love it i'm gonna ride it to the shops to work to the coffee shops literally everywhere now i am pretty happy with how it's turned out although i am going to make a few changes further down the line like i said definitely going to try and whip out the sandpaper and the spray paint and sort out the seat posts and maybe some black cranks i might change them uh, maybe I can spray paint them, I'm not sure what that looks like, but yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Now I'm off to upload this to the GCN app in the buy upgrade section because I think it is pretty cool. If you do attempt something similar, make sure to upload it to the GCN app in the buy upgrade section for a chance to be on the GCN tech show. And I have loved seeing all your DIY spray paints since doing my spray paint video. So make sure to send those in too. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up.